Welcome back to Cloud9 Blessings. I hope that you are all having a very beautiful and blessed day in the Lord. And I thank you for clicking on this video today so that we can experience another powerful submission that has been emailed into the channel. In this video today, we are going to be experiencing an intense vision and dream that was given to our sister in Christ, Cherie. She really wanted to share this with the channel family. So let's take a look and see what she has experienced. <clears throat> Excuse me. And our Heavenly Father to just have his way with this video. And as I'm sharing with all of you, and I, I had to just, I, I can only explain for what happened in this dream or vision just recently. And it's a new experience for me. Um, it was so intense and I'm going to do everything that I can um, to give you what I can give you as I, it was explained, uh, as it was given to me in the video. Okay. It was creepy and, you know, everything. So I'm just going to say a, a quick pr uh, prayer. Okay. So Lord, with all my heart, I am praying in the name of Jesus. I know Heavenly Father that, you know, it is the last chance for them, um, for them right now. You are their last chance right now, which is the truth. And I am praying in the name of Jesus that they will be willing to accept and receive you into their heart, soul, mind, and strength right now. And just let you have all rights of them. I am praying, Heavenly Father, they will be willing to just let you enter into their lives and be willing to accept and receive you as their Lord and Savior into their lives too as well. I am praying, Heavenly Father, that they, that you will, you know, show them and reveal to them these truths as what it's been in my spirit now is the urgency to explain this. And Heavenly Father, I pray they'd be willing to let you open up their spiritual eyes so they can see the revelations of your truth of what you are trying to say and what you are, you know, showing us, Heavenly Father, in the coming times are ahead. And I pray they will take heed to your warning. I pray they will ex be willing to accept and receive your warning and be willing to be prepared. In the name of Jesus. And also, Heavenly Father, I am praying that you will always be with the 144,000. I am praying, Heavenly Father, that you will also bless them, Lord, and keep them safe and covered with your blood. I pray they'll be made willing to keep their strong and their faith in you as they are going through these times. Um, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and I pray they'll be willing to listen um, to what you are showing me. And I pray they will be willing to have a hear, to hear uh, what you are, have me to share with them as I do this announcement. Um, and so I pray that, you know, our nations will be willing to fully convert and get back into covenant with you and return back to you, Heavenly Father. <clears throat> in the name of Jesus, I pray that you also will show them the way and set every path straight for what is crooked. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So, fellow brothers and sisters, this is how it went. And I'm going to be brief and honest with you. I was in this dream and everything was happening all so fast. It starts with the church. And there was a wedding. There was family and the the family was going against each other. I mean, they were, I mean, a fight broke out. Then it got violent. And then all of a sudden, as soon as her veil was lifted, and there was a baby, I believe that they had too. The baby was so cute. It was precious. But at the same time, um, well, let me, let me just say this. Her veil was lifted. And as the veil was lifted, and the church that they was actually at, um, had an invasion, uh, with a lot of murdering people were screaming and I saw this being, um, they actually had a weapon of a knife and he did something to this guy and it was so horrific and he had an uncaring spirit. He brought daylight and everybody was screaming, everybody trying to find some way to escape. Um, I couldn't find, um, some happened to the bride where she was, dis she disappeared and the baby that they had disappeared and people like all hell broke loose and it, it, it just got so ter terrifying. Um, and I saw a lot of people was being lifted up 
um, very quickly by force, like a twinkle of an eye. And as this was going on at the same time, um, there's these beings that were torturing, um, you know, the people that was being left behind. And what stood out to me in that dream is that somebody was trying to hide. And they said, Jesus, they said, Jesus, help me. Some was crying out to our Heavenly Father saying, Jesus, help me. Some said, Heavenly Father, please make me invisible. Make me invisible, Heavenly Father. And they were invisible when nobody can find them or know what they were. They have miraculous powers that I have ever seen. And I wanted to cry because they, you know, our Heavenly Father is with them. If they are staying during the tribulation period or at the time that they were allowed as they are receiving boundaries from our Heavenly Father, what they are allowed to do. So I'm giving you guys this announcement because I was told that there is a spiritual prophecy that is going to manifest in the natural or before it gets in the natural. This is exactly what's going to occur in the coming days. So the 144,000. I was told to share this with you. You guys are going to be covered with our Heavenly Father's protection. If you are the 144,000 and you are going to be in the tribulation period and whatever your mission is or what you are allowed to do, you are going to be fully covered with our Heavenly Father is going to protect you. You just have to stay strong in your faith and believe that our Heavenly Father is with you. And with all my heart to yours and to our Heavenly Father too as well, you all will be taken care of. And you guys will have the gift of the Lord to do the miraculous, um, miraculous, I think it's called miraculous or something like that, fellow brothers and sisters. I, I'm not good with words. But you guys was, was doing greater works. And that's what I was saying. And you guys can take it up with our Heavenly Father, but I, I'm giving you what he's showing me, and I'm going to be obedient to tell you this. You are going to be taken care of. And whoever who um, that our Heavenly Father believe is going to be left behind, I am, I am praying that you all would be willing to repent and go through this purification process and allow the Lord to have all rights of you. And for you to get fully right with the Lord. And I am praying that our Heavenly Father would be with you too as well. And I was told in the spirit before I did this video. And I felt everything. And I sense it that our Heavenly Father is coming to get us. And we're not going to be on this world any longer. We're going to be removed. And we're going to be going home soon. And as he revealed it to me that we will be leaving and to hang in there. For if these are for you that you that our heavenly Father is showing you that you are going up, this is what I am saying as well. Hang in there, because we're going to be leaving. And I pray that you all will accept and receive this truth. But you can always give it to our heavenly Father too for confirmation too as well. But I know what I was told. So and I know what I was shown as well. Um, it was a short visit. Everything happened in front of me. Everything happened all at once. I know once that veil was lifted up, all hell broke loose. Even the churches of men are not protected as well. There was violence that was happening there um, that brought daylight and they came into the churches of men. So I'm like, you know, that the churches of men are not safe at all. The God of light has actually been removed from the churches of men. So I'm just letting you know. There was no way to escape this unless you was with our Heavenly Father and he will take good care of you. Jesus is the only way and the only truth and the only life that anybody can have in their lives right now. And Jesus is the last chance like. Like, you know, Jesus is the last chance right now uh, for you guys to actually receive and receive them before it's actually. And that is the honest truth. So the choice is yours. This is a free will of choice that you have to make at this point. And I am so sorry. And for the ones that have to deal with the consequences, they have not accepted or received Christ as their Lord and Savior, because I am afraid to say that you are going to have to go through and 
and this dream that he actually gave me and all of this stuff was going on, they actually, they, they didn't have the blood of Jesus. Only the 144,000, um, actually had protection. And I'm not saying this to be mean for what that, that's what I was being revealed. And that's what I was given today recently. Um, as I put back in my body, everybody actually was, uh, they was not protected. They actually had to go through their own blood as well. Our Heavenly Father was departing. So if you know that you are the ones and only our Heavenly Father know, I don't know and I'm not judging, but I'm giving you this truth here. I'm not try to, you know, give you tough love or anything like that. No, I'm speaking with all my heart here as I'm revealing it to you. And I love you guys. And I want you all to come to the kingdom of God and to ex be willing to accept and receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And I pray that you guys be willing to accept and receive this invitation because this is no joke right now. And the feeling that I had when I woke up, I know it's not going to be the way how man made, but the way how our Heavenly Father revealed it and manifested himself and how he want things to be done, how he want things to go down. So fellow brothers and sisters, this is real. And we all going to have to not worry about anything that was going on in this world right now. We are going to have to pray and just take a day at a time and do our best. And to stay strong in our faith and have and be willing to accept and receive what our Heavenly Father is telling us. And, I, you know, I'm telling you all because I accept and receive it. And that's why I'm sharing with you. You guys, I'm looking forward to going home right now. I'm working on myself. I'm working on my children. I'm praying that our Heavenly Father will set us straight for what is crooked and get us back in order. That was very powerful and very intense. I love that you uh, shared the urgency for people to get right with the Lord because many of us brothers and sisters in Christ from all walks of life have been trying to get many people to wake up from their slumber as to all the things that are happening right now on the earth. I also really enjoyed how you shared about the 144,000 because they will be sealed by the Lord and they will be protected during the time of Jacob's trouble, the seven year tribulation. And that is definitely upon us, brothers and sisters. And, you know, it's going to be a really, really hard time for many people who are left behind. Our sister in Christ here shares, you know, what is going to happen to those people that are left behind, how terrifying, how sad they're going to be calling out to the Lord. Um, they're not going to know what to do. It's just going to be a really hard time for many. That's why it's so important that people come to Christ now while they can, because today is a day of salvation. The Lord wants everyone to be saved and not to perish. So please accept that free gift of salvation. Accept him in your heart. Believe in your heart that he died on the cross for you, for your sins, and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you will be saved. Our Sister in Christ's YouTube channel information is in the description box, so please hit her channel and subscribe. Please comment in the comment section. Have you had a dream like this before? Have you seen a vision of the 144,000? I would love to hear from you. Also, please click the like button so that this video can reach more brothers and sisters in Christ. I truly thank you for taking the time to watch this video today. I truly hope that it blesses each and every one of you. May God bless you all and have a very blessed week.